Hey guys, welcome back to SVB Creative. Today I'll be showing you all a very simple and subtle sari makeup look which is perfect for any college function like a uh, farewell function or uh, uh, maybe uh, graduation function something like that. This very simple look and this sari I have bought from Amazon just for 399 rupees. This sari material is something which is very perfect for someone who is wearing sari for a very first time because it is not very stiff neither very soft. So it's very perfect to handle for some who is wearing sari for the very first time so i have done a whole video on unboxing it and a whole review of it so if you guys want to check it out i will leave the link in the card please do check it out and also i have uh, done this makeup only using lacme products because it's very easily available and it kind of is affordable as well so the very first product i'll be using is a primer it's lacme's a perfect primer and uh, this is a very good primer because it has got a slight uh, pink tint to it and it uh, also blurs out the pores and gives a brightening effect to our skin i'll be adding all the details of product details in description box with price and shade number so please do check it out and uh, today for foundation i'll be using this lacme invisible foundation and this has got six to seven shades which is uh, which is a great thing from Lakme because usually they come out with just four shades and uh, uh, n none of the duskier skin or deeper skin tone can find a shade from it but uh, surprisingly since they have got six or seven seven shade in this uh, Lakme invisible foundation duskier skin tone like me as well as a uh, two or three shade darker skin tone can find out a skin I mean a perfect match uh, still the sad part is that uh, deeper skin tone cannot find a shade uh, but um, what we can do we can't do anything about it so uh, i've blended this foundation really well using a pony makeup uh, brush i have done a whole video on it i will leave it in cart and then i'll be again blending it out with pony uh, makeup sponge so as to give a natural uh, finish to it then i'll be uh, applying a compact powder a loose powder here i have used lacme rose powder even though this has got slight rose tint to it it works perfectly for me uh, it it is okay it's a good product and then i I'll be baking my under eyes using the same product using um, Pune makeup sponge. I'll be applying a good coat of it uh, under to my eyes. Then I'll be using this Lacme Absolute blush palette. I'll be taking this coral shade uh, uh, to a brush and I'll be applying it to my eyelids as a wash of color and uh, this is a very good uh, versatile blush palette this has got four shades and it's perfect for dusky skin tone these has this has got tiny little shimmer particle to it but still it's not over to top then i'll be taking this dark pink shade and i'll be depositing it depositing it uh, to my outer corners and then slightly blending it out to uh, crease as well as to a lash line uh, so that there is a definition so this is quite nicely pigmented and uh, this uh, palette comes in two shades one is in coral i guess and one is in pink and this pink uh, one suits dusky skin tone really well i think uh, it uh, complements all skin tone and uh, since it is quite pigmented it, it shows on duskier skin tone as well so once uh, it is done i'll be blending it with a clean brush just i'll be blending the crease really well so that there is no harsh lines and then i'll be taking this shampoo peony shade and highlighting my brow bone and then also i will be applying a, a bit of it to my middle of eyelid so that there's slight pop of shade or pop of color and then slightly blending it that's it so with that our eyeshadow is done as you all know i do not use more than three eyeshadow in a look because I like to keep it minimal and simple and I really don't know how to do it as well. Then I'll be using this Lacme Absolute Liner. This is a very good liner. Even though it's slightly expensive. It's something around 300 something. So, But still it's a very good uh, eyeliner. This time I'm going for a very thick liner with no wing. It's a very slight wing liner that's it very simple and very easy uh, very minimal <laughs> so i'll be just applying a thick coat i mean thick liner and um, if you want you can definitely go for a wing liner as per your wish uh, since i usually go for a wing liner and uh, that kind of look i thought i will keep this as minimal with small wing so after that i'll be using this iconic kajal and i'll be applying this just to the uh, lash line not waterline just to the lash line and that too just three fourth not completely so that it gives a illusion of uh, bigger eyes 
and uh, then I'll be uh, just slightly blending it out after that I'll be taking this champagne shade again and uh, highlighting my inner corners uh, so that again it gives a bigger eye illusion so this is a perfect shade for highlighting purpose and then I'll be taking this pink shade again and I'll be applying it to my lash line um, and uh, just to have a pop of shade just to have completed look then I'll be taking this white um, kajal again from iconic uh, then I'll be applying it to waterline as you all know it gives a kind of doll uh, eye look which is very very good and very beautiful then I'll be just dusting off this powder and I'll be using Lakme um, this mascara I really like this mascara wand because it has got a slight bend in the middle so it's perfect to apply mascara I'll be applying a good coat of mascara because I won't be using any fake lashes which I usually do not use as well because I'm not that comfortable with it but I'll be applying lots and lots of mascara to my uh, upper lash line as well as lower lash line which just opens up the uh, eyes this is a good mascara it works perfectly for me and since I do not have an um, eyebrow pencil uh, of mascara I mean uh, of uh, Lakme I'll be uh, I mean brushing this eye, uh, my um, eyebrows with the, with the same mascara brush so for blush I'll be taking that bright pink shade dusting off the excess and applying to my cheeks and just blending it out really well um, even though this has got a slight uh, shimmer particles which I do not like to use as a blush but still as I said it's it is not over to top so that's the reason uh, uh, we can really use it as blush so I'll be just blending it really well then I'll be taking this champagne shade and then I'll be highlighting um, my cheekbone and uh, bridge of my nose and a uh, little bit to forehead and a little bit of chin you all know the usual places uh, and uh, again I'll be blending it out very well as I said this champagne shade is very good highlighter it just gives a pop of shade then with this uh, dark bronzy shade I'll be bronzing just to uh, um, like holes of my cheek just a slight bronzing it's not a contouring it's a slight bronzing and then I'll be blending it really well that's it uh, with, uh, as I said this is a very versatile palette and then just to uh, pop out that contouring or um, I mean this bronzing I'll be just uh, putting on this rose uh, powder from Lakme underneath of um, bronzed area and just blending it that's it and then I'll be using this Lakme lip crayon as my lip liner I'll be applying it whole to my lips and filling in really well it's a bright nice coral shade then just to center of my lips I'll be applying this Lakme lip and cheat cheek tint both of these shades are like absolutely amazing for dusky skin tone then i'll be again applying this coral shade uh, um, around my lips just outer corner my of my lips so that it gives ombre kind of effect and with that our makeup is done i absolutely loved how it turned out it's very simple very minimal very much perfect for saris and now we will move on to hairstyle hairstyle again it's a very simple two minute hairstyle and this is perfect for people who have thin hair because it kind of gives an illusion of thicker hair so what i'm gonna do is i have, I have parted my hair uh, side part given a pa side partition if you want you can go for middle partition but for this hairstyle it's perfect to have a side partition then i'll be um uh, sectioning my hair into half two halves then i'll be uh, braiding my hair uh, back part of my hair into a very uh, normal braid as we as we all braid it's just taking three strands of my hair and just braiding it and i'll be doing the same with the other section of my my hair as well just braiding giving it a normal braid and uh, we can secure at the end with a normal hair tie
once the braid is completely done once the two section of braid is completely done just pull out the braids fan out the braids so that uh, it's a little bit more voluminous so repeat the same for the two uh, braids and uh, all we need to do is uh, like we need to secure those two braids together with bobby pin so all we need is a hair tie and few bobby pins for this uh, hairstyle no heat is required uh, so just take two minutes it's very simple so make sure that you fan out each and every part of the braid so that as i said it gives a voluminous effect and once it is done uh, just uh, secure these two braids together with uh, bobby pin but make sure that you secure bobby pin in such a way that it is not that visible have tied at the end of uh, hair with the uh, hair tie and covered it with a hair strand so that the hair tie is not visible and just to secure uh, the poking out hair with a bobby pin and uh, just uh, uh, pull your hair the way you want it to be just make it as beautiful as you can and with that our hairstyle and makeup is done i really hope you guys have liked watching this if so please do give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and uh, that's it guys see you very soon in very next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all